You know, we have a we have a clip here uh, from the prom, and your character is very funny. And I, what I love is the the information that's laid out that your character uh, is a struggling uh, a struggling actor, Broadway actor who hasn't quite made it, and so has to tend bar. But um, it's beautifully laid out that you can't your character can't stop talking about his time at Juilliard, which does yes. feel like. Word would get around. That's a type. That is definitely. Oh a yeah. Type. No, I I dated a guy for many years who went to Juilliard, and they. I'm not saying everyone, but I'm saying a lot of them like to sneak that into conversation. But the way they do it, the way they do it is they say um, their group number because it's not about the year you graduated at Juilliard. Right. You say I was in group 24, or I was in group which when they, when someone drops that into conversation to be like, well, in group 13, I, and you'd be like, what is that? And they're like, oh, well, at Juilliard, I- um, Perfect. So yeah. that way they trick so it's you a into good... asking. Yes. Yes. So I noticed that a lot. I tried to work that into the film, um, but I think it was like a little too inside baseball inside to like baseball, have yeah. group number talk um but yeah that's a it's a real thing it's like when people say like oh i went to college in dc and you're like just say georgetown like i get it like, <laughs> just say it and then they say no i didn't go to college in georgetown <laughs> i literally i went to a technical school a two-year technical school in dc asshole yeah it was uh, the university of phoenix but it was in dc we have a clip here uh, from the prom, and I believe this is where you're working the bar. You haven't made it yet, uh, but you're quite a chatty Kathy with these massive stars. That is true. All right, let's take a look. Who are you? Trent, Oliver. Uh, oh. We've done five shows together. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Trent went to Juilliard, won't shut up about it. Oh, right, Trent. Trent. Of course, Trent. <laughs> Why are you dressed like a waiter? I'm in between gigs at the moment. Mm. Honestly, Dee Dee, I feel adrift as I did in my days before Juilliard. Oh my God. You see, my passions are fueled by the power of Lady Theater and how she can, with the gentle touch of her hand, sculpt a human soul. You know, but we learned at Juilliard, oh, if I could God. soliloquize, if you prick me, do I not bleed? The prom. Uh, is available on Netflix Friday, and it's terrific. And also, by the way, uh, Boys in the Band is available to stream on Netflix right now, and it is also extraordinary. You're you're just you're you're killing it. You're hitting it out of the park, and I'm very happy for you. Thank you, thank you very much. That and is, I that I I don't know that there's a connection, but I think me coming to check out uh, your performance in Book of Mormon probably made all the difference in your career. I think it did. That's when UTA called was after you arrived. So yeah, because um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. no one else was paying attention to you or the, frankly, the show. And no. I thought, because you think Franco said anything about the show? No, he's too about Franco. I called and I got the word out um, after it was already a huge hit that it. Well, thank you for that phone tree. That means a lot. <laughs> By the way, I will tell you that one of the most controversial decisions my wife ever made was to take our two children to see Book of Mormon. And at the time they were like 11 and nine. And I was like, what the f She said, it's such a, it's good. It's really, and I went, it's fantastic. But there's vaginas and yeah. clitorises and yeah, well, they've got to learn what a clit is eventually. So, you know, they might as well. You know what? It. I'm here to tell you, you don't need to know. <laughs> I don't need to know. <laughs> I don't need to know. <laughs> you and me both.